Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Ali, CEO of Core Gems. In this video, we will be taking a look at these four beautiful jade stones. Uh, one is a bangle, two are carvings, one is a leaf carving here, and one is a traditional Quan Yin style carving. Uh, one is a round cut cabochon. We'll be discussing three different methods. And of these three methods, one is guaranteed to work. The other two work some of the time and are helpful, but not necessarily foolproof. So uh, we'll jump right in. Um, let's start out by taking a look at each of these individually. First one here is an absolutely magnificent, stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, highly translucent, vivid, imperial, emerald green jade bangle. It is absolutely perfect. Superb translucency. You can see my fingers through the bangle. It is that highly translucent. It is absolutely perfect in every way. It is very, very beautiful. If this piece is real, uh, you'd be looking at about eighty dollars to $100,000 at auction, possibly much more. Absolute top grade. The only uh, downside are these minor white inclusions, as you can see in there. That's about it. Other than that, it's pretty much a perfect bangle. Next up, we'll take a look at this leaf cabochon here. I'm not doing these in any particular order. So uh, after I'm done showing the four, four pieces, uh, go down to the comments below and write your guess down as to which ones you think is real and which ones you think are fake. No cheating, do not you know skip ahead and see the answers. Uh, this beautiful, 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 absolutely perfect imperial green uh, leaf carving. Absolutely superb, very, very lovely. You can see how excellent the transparency is as well on that stone as well. Look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning gem. Next up, we have this absolutely stunning, highly transparent Quan Yin carving here. It is light green, almost colorless, and super, super high translucency as you can see there. You can see right through it. Um, when it comes to jade, you want to be at very least translucent, ideally semi-transparent to transparent with vivid green color. It's almost unheard of. So beautiful, beautiful Quan Yin pendant, very high translucency, light green color, almost colorless. And you can even see the fibrous texture in there. Beautiful. Okay, and lastly, we'll take a look at this ring. This ring is just base metal. It's okay, so just a brass setting but the actual jade in there, it is absolutely superb, just like the others. Uh, I would describe the color as right in between apple green and uh, imperial green jade. It is beautiful, it is rich, it is vividly saturated, it is highly translucent, it is a very, very desirable piece of jade, if it's real. That's what we have to keep in mind. So, among these four, and I want you to type your guess down, in the comments below what you think is real and what you think is fake. Among these four, two of them are completely untreated natural jade. Okay. Two of them are treated, but they are jadeite. Jade. Of the two that are untreated, one is one is um, jadeite jade and one is a different type of jade, but it is still jade. And of the two that are treated, one is grade B, which means it has been impregnated with a polymer to improve the uh, clarity of the stone. And one is grade C, which means it has been treated with both a polymer and a dye to improve both the trans transparency of the stone, remove inclusions, and also to improve the color. I will tell you right now, from a visual analysis alone, it is impossible to tell. You cannot tell simply by looking at these pieces, which is which. It is just simply not possible. Now, now we'll jump into the methods for uh, making your best guesses. So first uh, at home item I like to use is a UV light. These can be purchased very inexpensively. Uh, for around 10 to $20 USD off the internet. Uh, they're very affordable and they come in a variety of uh, spectrums. You want to get at least three or four different ones. So you're covering uh, pretty much the entire 
range of short wave and long wave uh, UV lights. And once you have those lights set up, you will be able to test each stone. Now, uh, the following are going to show you pictures that will allow us to um, possibly rule some of these out. So, the first thing you need to know is that not all, so the idea behind uh, using the UV light is that the dyes used to treat certain types of jade will glow under UV light. They will emit a fluorescence and that fluorescence can be used in identifying if a jade has been treated. This does not always work because as um, you know, the counterfeiters have become wise to these technologies, they've started using uh, more advanced polymers that do not show any UV spectra at all. They do not show any UV fluorescence at all. So you cannot use this method on every piece, but it will rule out very low end fakes. That's pretty much all this method is good for. As you can see, with certain grade C dyed jade, it will absolutely show fluorescence under UV light. With certain types, they will not. Then we move on to grade B jade. Grade B jade will not show any fluorescence under UV light. Usually, there are certain polymers that might, but usually it's only the dyes that do. So it is not a reliable method for identifying if the jade is polymer impregnated. Okay, now moving on to the third method. This method is a bit more involved. It is a bit more time consuming. It is a bit more challenging, it requires a very little bit of math. Firstly, we need to understand specific gravity or density. We can use the known density of jade to compare with our sample of suspected jade. You will require a graduated cylinder and water in that graduated cylinder filled to a specific point that you know already. So say for example, if you fill up your graduated cylinder to 15 milliliters, mark that down, have it exactly at 15 milliliters, and you will need to measure that at the meniscus. When you look at it at eye level, you will see the water forms a concave structure. The lowest point of that water is the meniscus. Once you have your base reading, Place your suspected jade specimen inside the water and note what is the current volume. The idea is you are using the amount of water that that jade displaced in terms of volume to estimate its own volume. You are using the amount of water that the jade displaced inside the flask to estimate the volume of the jade itself. One milliliter of water converts directly to one centimeter cubed. So if your jade specimen displaces three milliliters, then you know that it has a volume of three centimeters cubed. The next item you will need is a high quality, very accurate gemological scale, jewelry scale. It needs to be at least the thousandth. So once you know the mass, there's a very simple calculation for density. Density is equal to mass over volume. Um, we want the mass in grams. Now your calculation is simply the mass of the jade specimen or suspected jade divided by the volume of the jade specimen and that gives you your density or specific gravity. This will give you a good estimate of whether the piece is jade or not. Now coming back to our sample here, this isn't very helpful because as I mentioned already, all four of these are jade. The final method that we will be discussing is the only method that is guaranteed to work virtually all the time. It is to send your jade specimen to a reputable gemological laboratory. This third and final method is the absolute only reliable way to know whether or not a piece of jade is firstly natural jade, secondly if it is jadeite, omphacite, nephrite, which type of jade, and finally whether or not the jade is treated and which type of treatments are applied to the specific jade material. This is the only guaranteed method because these gemological laboratories use spectroscopy, microscopic analysis, UV analysis, and a whole host of other highly advanced equipment that test the physical and chemical properties of minerals and of gemstones that we can never hope to replicate in any home. If you have a suspected piece of jade that you think is real and is of considerable value if it turns out to be real, then I would advise sending it to a reputable gemological laboratory. When it comes to jade, the gold standard is the Hong Kong Jade and Stone Lab. They have been dealing with jadeite for decades. They have been distinguishing between jadeite, nephrite, and the various other types of Chinese jade for 
decades, they are the standard setters when it comes to jade. Chances are, if you've ever seen a piece of jade sell at Sotheby's or Christie's or any of the other major auction houses, it was accompanied by a certificate from the Hong Kong Jade and Stone Laboratory. This is a list of other reputable labs uh, from around the world that deliver excellent results and are very accurate when it comes to jadeite. I would not recommend going with smaller labs, unlike you know something like a diamond or a sapphire ruby where it's been studied a lot. A lot of the jade information out there is conflicting um, with some laboratories distinguishing between omphacite jade and jadeite jade and some laboratories listing them all as jadeite. So uh, understanding that, knowing that, and going to the specialists and experts is the way to go. Hong Kong Jade and Stone Laboratory, depending on the actual composition, will actually classify omphacite as jadeite. Uh, and in China, that distinction isn't really made. However, recent um, studies have gone into this and have discovered different mineralogy among the two minerals. And uh, as such, GIA has started separating them. Um, you can read more about this in the description. I'll do an entire video on this topic alone because it's a very in-depth topic. But for our purposes, what you need to understand is that the only way to know for sure what you have is natural jade I jade is by sending it to a reputable laboratory. Hopefully you were able to guess at least a couple of them right. I'm going to go ahead and reveal uh, which stone is which. Let's start with the real and we'll go to the fake. This is 100% natural, grade A, jadeite jade. Grade A means untreated, natural color, no indications of polymer impregnation. As you can see in the GIA report, the stone is absolutely natural jadeite jade and is completely untreated with natural color and without any indications of impregnation by polymer. So it has not been chemically treated in any way and it has not been treated with a polymer in any way. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, natural, perfect, stunning, multi-thousand dollar, maybe even, uh, you know, you're looking definitely on the low end of retail, you're looking at about four or $5,000 for such a fine piece, beautiful, Next up, we'll take a look at this piece here. This piece is natural jadeite jade. It has not been dyed, but it has been impregnated with a polymer. This is known in the market as grade B jade. Grade B jade, um, they fill the uh, material with a polymer that improves the transparency. The polymer basically goes in and fills all of the little cracks and all of the little fissures so all of these fibrous spots where um, that, that cause the jade to become opaque or translucent are now filled and the jade will increase dramatically in terms of transparency. Grade B jade is not highly sought after, is not very valuable. Any treated jade will lose a considerable amount of value if it really had any, um, but it is still more valuable than dyed jade. Uh, you can get a fine piece of treated jades. If you were looking in the market for something as fine as this piece here, to be grade B only, um, only treated with polymer, you would only be looking at maybe $1,000 max. Whereas an untreated grade A piece of jade like this is at least $5,000 and up. All right, now we'll take a look at this. Of course, it has to be this one. This one is way too beautiful. Um, to not be extremely expensive and uh, to just be lying around here. Um, this is a beautiful bangle, but unfortunately it is completely treated, both in terms of being um, dyed and in terms of being impregnated. I'll pull up the Chinese certificate here. You can see in the Chinese certificate, it is classified as grade A or untreated jadeite jade. False. It is jadeite jade, but it is completely treated by both dyeing and by polymer impregnation. And this type of polymer and dye cannot be detected by UV light alone. So that proves to you that that is not a fully reliable method of assessing whether jade is untreated. Finally, we move on to my personal favorite piece. It is superbly beautiful, supremely, supremely top translucency, top color, imperial green color. And as I mentioned, two are untreated. So this is the other untreated stone. 
and it is indeed natural jade, but it is not jadeite jade. It is ophysite jade. Ophysite jade is a is a jade, but is not a jadeite. Um, they're very similar minerals, but their mineralogy is not identical. And as such, top reliable labs will not uh, classify ophysite jade as jadeite. Uh, smaller labs will, as you can see in this Chinese certificate here, it has been um, classified as jadeite, which is incorrect. It is indeed omphacite jade, as you can see in the GIA report here. Omphacite jade is valuable as well. It is highly sought after by jade collectors. Jade collectors do consider it to be a precious stone, just like jade, jadeite, sorry, but it is not in the same league as jadeite. It is not quite um, as well known as jadeite outside of China. Very few people have heard of it. Uh, even in China, it is not that well known. Uh, but it is definitely still a valuable and collectible and uh, sought after gem in its own right. Um, I would say it is a fraction of the same price as uh, a similar quality jadeite stone would be. For example, if this was a imperial green, highly translucent piece of jadeite jade, you would be looking at somewhere in the ballpark of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. However, as a piece of ophysite jade, I'd be happy to let it go for around three or four thousand dollars instead. But that's still a fair price. Uh, of course, these prices that I'm quoting are on the low end of retail, high end of wholesale prices. Um, if you want, uh, you can you know do your own research, and I'll be doing many many more videos on jade. Um, in the upcoming videos, we'll discuss jade price. We'll discuss um, more in depth, maybe the treatments. We'll discuss more in depth, the difference between Ophysite Jade, uh, Jade Jade, and um, Mossitsit and other um, sort of jades, and perhaps even Nephrite. This is an example of Nephrite Jade. This is a soft jade, it is still jade, but it's not Jadeite. So uh, lots and lots of uh, stuff to discuss when it comes to jade. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe for more great gem content. Hit that notification button so you never miss any of our videos. And leave down in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see next. All right, thank you so much for watching. And from all of us here at Core Gems, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everyone. Thank you.